This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Well, good morning to you. I'm Gina Maravilla. Here are the very latest stories that we are following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Phoenix police investigating what led up to a shooting on the I-17 last night. It happened just after 9 o'clock in the evening near Northern. Officers say when they got there, they found a man shot. He is expected to be okay. Investigators say the man was not giving them any information about who shot him. A Mesa family is upping the reward to find their son's killer nearly six months after his murder. Jaime Fernandez Jr. was gunned down in front of his house back on July 17th in a neighborhood off the Loop 202 and McKellips in East Mesa. Police believe the shooter drove off in either a silver Honda Civic or a Chevy Impala. The reward is now up to $4,000. Anyone with information is asked to call silent witness. And now to a murder investigation with several crime scenes under investigation. Benjamin Anderson went missing on New Year's Eve. His body was found in the desert near New River. The 41 year old's car was found torched near the I-17 in Dunlap. Anderson's friends tell Arizona's family they knew something was terribly wrong when they had not heard from him. They ended up going to his apartment to check on him. They said his credit cards and his money, they were all left behind, but his car was gone. A couple of hours later, the friends contacted Lexus to ping Anderson's car, and that led them to the Super 8 Motel off the I-17 in Dunlap, but police were unable to locate the vehicle. Then at midnight, the friends found Anderson's Lexus in the parking garage off of a of a nearby Sheridan, we should say. Uh, they say that three people then took off in the car. The friends eventually found the car torched in the parking lot of a UEI college off of I-17. MCSO says they found Anderson's body in the desert on New Year's Eve, about 30 mile or minutes north of where his burned car was found. So far, there's no word on a cause of death. How about a high of 66 degrees for today? We're going to see temperatures climb a little bit to the low 70s for Friday, then back to the 60s and then back to the 70s. All in all, it looks like we're going to stay dry and mild for the next five to seven days. All right, Ian, thank you so much. For updates on more stories that we are following, you can download our app and subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Gina Maravilla. Have a great day.